Alright, so once again, good morning everyone. So welcome to the uh, part 2 of our discussion. So in this video demonstration, we will talk about the swing timer. So in the previous video, we have learned about the Java Utility Timer. And as we have learned, timers are used to uh, perform certain tasks. No? So pwede ang task ay perform right after pila ka seconds nga delay or pwede po nga um, periodically after pila ka seconds of delay. So for the Java Swing Timer, uh, we we need to import not the Javax that Swing Timer. So again, to reiterate the difference of the two, so Java Swing Timer is highly recommended now for use on GUI related na mga tasks. So, unlike Java Utility, no, where nag-rely ta sa ato ang task na no, katotong i-create earlier, nga timer task, si Swing Timer relies on action listeners for it to be triggered. So, we have here a sample na code as to how a timer should be created. This one is taken from the... Uh, Java API nga documentation. So in here, you can see that we created an action listener. No? We call the action listener object. We named it task performer. And then we instantiated its value with a new action listener. And inside it, no, we have here, so this is ang yahang uh, default niya nga iyahang method. So, we have action perform. So, if a certain action event is triggered, no? so, di rin nato ibutang ang task na gusto nato iyang i-perform. Alright. So, this uh, timer object accepts two arguments. So, same lang yapo na sa ito ang um, Java utility timer nga mag-accept og two arguments to gihapon ka argument ang i-accept ni Swing. But this time, we have here, ang first ng argument no, is the delay. And then we have here the action listener. And then if we want to start no, our timer, we simply invoke the start method. Or you can also do it by um, implementing the action listener in your class. So, we have here, no, in the previous na nga examples, so we've created katong ato ang DOST nga logo. Na? So, in that particular nga example, I've, we can also implement timer. So, we, sim we simply implement the action listener and inside our constructor, we create there the timer object and then we are using this keyword no, to refer to okay, this particular nga class which is implementing the action listener. And then we invoke the start method within our constructor. And make sure to implement no, this action performed method which is the default method. This is where we are going to put okay, the code. Alright, so before we proceed with the actual video demonstration, so it's important though that we first need to understand these two things. So we have here the repaint method. So last last week now we've had the paint method to draw objects in uh, the Java graphics using the uh, G graphics 2D in Java. So repaint method will simply call the component again no, to repaint or redraw itself in the panel. So simply, yeah lang, as the name it, it implies, no, it will repaint whatever ang imuhang paint. And then we also need the super dot paint, now which would clear the previously painted component. So later we will see it clearly no, sa ato ang demonstration as to how these two are re relevant with our discussion. Alright, so let's proceed with the video demonstration. Alright, 
So now let's demonstrate how we can implement this as Java Swing Timer to create a simple animation. So the concept of making an animation using the Swing Timer is very similar with the concept of a flipbook. So if you are familiar with a flipbook, na, so the artist would simply create hundreds or if not thousands of pages. Now where uh, he would he or she would draw an object many times and in each time na lang sila slight na difference. So for example, in a flip book, if you want to move this particular circle from this point to this point, you would need to create several drawings na where you would simply redraw the circle na mag move siya. Now for example, very uh, small amount like millimeters lang mag move siya each time no until nga makaabot siya sa certain point so that's how we're going to implement uh, the concept sa ato ang java swing so we simply need to repaint na this particular circle as many times as we need until nga makaabot siya sa ato ang desired nga point so say for example so if you want to move this particular circle from here to here for example okay if you remember to create a circle we use the fill oval and then it takes four arguments so the first two argument x and y is or refers to the coordinates of this particular circle so to be specific the upper left side of the circle so if i put here zero zero which is at the top most no sa left ng part sa tong program okay this circle should appear right here since this part right here kini siya nga murag pinak edge now is our zero zero and that's the upper left most ng part where dito niya i take ang yahang uh, sort of murag ang square niya to create this circle all right so let's try to move this circle. So based on the PowerPoint, now we need to import a Javax that swing that timer, and then we need to implement an action listener. Since the action listener is needed for us to um, create or for us to trigger the task. So then we also need to implement the action listener. So I can simply add here, add an implemented method. So it will create, not automatically create this particular uh, method. Alright, so next what I want to do is I want to create an instance of this particular nga timer. So I'm going to call this as timer. It's equal to new timer. And it takes two arguments. So it takes the delay okay, in milliseconds. Okay, followed by the um, action listener. So for this particular example, now I can simply call this graviton underscore panel with the keyword na this. As what we've discussed last meeting, so this, now the keyword this refers to the current atonga class, which is kini. And this class is implementing the action listener. And then we simply need to start this timer by invoking the dot start method. And I'm going to create now a timer, object timer, timer. All right. We have now created our timer. And we have now um, this action performed method. This is where we're going to put our whatever code that we want to execute once we trigger the timer. So here, say for example, I want to repaint 
Now, I want to redraw this particular nga oval to move uh, in a specific nga, um, direction. So, say for example, I'm going to call here, we need something that we call as reprint. No? The one that we discussed a while ago. Since again, as we've, what we've learned last, last meeting, when we grant that ong program, the paint method will be called automatically. So since na call naman siya, we need to call it again now to perform a certain mga, like for example, adjustments sa yang x and y coordinates. So for that to work, we need to make this as variables. Okay? So we can manipulate them. So I'm simply gonna make them a global variable. So x, gonna say for example 0, then y is also equal to 0. Alright, so if once sang repaint, I'm simply gonna alter their values. So simple nga um, demonstration, I'm gonna simply gonna adjust no? for the first nga demonstration. I will adjust the value of the x and I will repaint it. And then watch now what happens. Alright, so as you can see, our circle is now moving. But as you notice, it's very slow. It's moving toward the um, sa ang right nga side. So that's because we're increasing the value of x. And this is our x right here. Alright, so it's moving very slow. So that's because we set the timer no, with a one second delay. So for every one second, it will move slightly. No? It will adjust from 0 to 1 to 2 nga x, 3 x, and so on. So very slow yang movement. So you can simply uh, change now the value of this particular nga delay to make it appear nga smooth ang yang transition. So for example, I'm going to change this to 1 or 1 1,000th one of a second. So let's try and take a look. Alright, so there we go. It's now moving as slightly faster compared to the previous one. So we can also manipulate the value of y. Say for example, okay, if you want to move it diagonally, no? so it's now moving diagonally. So it will continue moving since we did not create a stop or a, a cancel na sa tuang method nga si timer. So if you want to stop, you simply write there that stop. Alright, now say for example, you want to make the ball uh, seem to be bouncing or mag-bounce. So we can do that by simply creating a code, no? an if-else nga code where we will get the um, height or the width of our frame and then if our ball is near sa edge na sa tong frame ato lang change ang yahang angle so we need to create something like this so i will be copy, copying this code right here to make it easier for us and let's dissect this code so also we need to create new angles okay we'll call this one angle x let's give it a one value and angle y also one value all right so here now in this particular example so we simply add the value of x plus its angle if it's greater than zero so we simply oh sorry if it's less than zero so we simply change the angle to one okay so meaning if we hit the um this corner right here so if we hit this corner it will adjust the value of the x so as you can see here the ball is now bouncing So that, that's because of these particular codes right here. 
So again, let's analyze. So if the value of x plus angle is greater than the width minus 50. So get width here will simply get the width of our frame. So this frame, by the way, is set to resizable. So I can simply resize this frame right here. So it will get now the code. This method will get the width of our frame and then subtract here 50. So 50 is that's the size of our um, ball. So the purpose of this one is that para dili sila mo para exacto inig bangga niya sa edge it will change the angle. And then the value of our x and y is equal to x the current niya value plus the angle of x and the value of y is y plus the angle of y. Okay, so I will be posting the code in GitHub so you guys can practice. Now try to manipulate this particular code. Try to create or to add more objects. You may also try and uh, change the color of the ball now as it bounces, as it reaches zero. So pwede nyo i-change ang yahang color depende on your preference. Okay, so that's it for the java swing timer so again make sure to uh, in case you, you encounter problem no like say for example the ball is uh it's bouncing but it's creating sort of like a line instead of a circle no? so that's because it's unable to delete the previous previously painted animation so for that we use the super Atong method, super paint, and then G. Okay, so what this will do is this will clear the previous natong drawing to avoid that line of problem. Okay, thank you so much, and that will be all for this demonstration.